We recently traveled to Beaufort, North Carolina, a small town in eastern North Carolina near the shore and the Outer Banks, right off the intracoastal waterway with tons of charm. It hosts the annual Big Rock Blue Marlin Fishing Tournament and is the fourth oldest town in North Carolina. Also, the Beaufort Inlet is where Queen Anne's Revenge sunk around 1718, Blackbeard's flagship and Beaufort itself was home to the feared pirate. There are many things to see and do along what is called the Crystal Coast, Beaufort being a great place from which to start. We decided we want to see our friends, the ponies of Shackleford Banks, short wild horses that are on small islands by Beaufort, descendants of horses from Spain who survived shipwrecks around the 1500s and have lived on the island ever since. We have done this before, but we love to paddle out to the islands and seeing the majestic and rare horses. All right, we're on our way to eastern North Carolina to the Outer Banks. We stopped in Charlotte, change planes, grab a beer, then we head to uh, Raleigh. And stuff. Oh, but we, if we can, we will do a little stroll and get out of Raleigh. That's right. Charlotte's at the airport with Rock and Jerry. So that's the next one. Here with our wonderful view of the tree and the pool, but pretty nice place. And we're going to a uh, prior engagement for a friend, and then uh, tomorrow the weather's supposed to be better. We'll go kayaking. Here we are out on the ocean paddling. Jeff's paddling, I'm filming, but. I will get to work and earn my keep on this boat. <laughs> Hi, babe. Hey. Okay, I hope I got you. <laughs> Here we are. We are hoping to see some ponies. Weather might sprinkle, but no wind, so we're good. All right, I gotta get to work. What? Yeah, the chocolate birds. Marine Laboratory from Duke University right at the end of Radio Island. There are a number of islands out here. Okay, we're in one of the islands. It's like a sandbar, so we're gonna walk to the other side and go to the ocean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. A lot of shells. We found evidence of horses. <laughs> but no horses. We, as we came out, there was a motorboat that was headed out and Sometimes the motorboats scare them away. They're they're not they're per, they're wild, so they like to be left alone. So you can kayak's a good way to sneak up on them and just observe them from a distance. Uh, we'll I'll, we'll have some pictures from when we got pretty close to them last time in the kayak on this video. But today I don't know. Maybe there's some storms. Yesterday it's cleared up. But there's still some cloud remnants over there. They're hiding out in the in the little forest over there. And actually, way in the distance over there is Shackleford Island, which is the main island where the horses are. But uh, you'll see the surf is a little rough to go kayaking in, and it's quite a bit farther, so we didn't go that far. More, more, more evidence of horses. <laughs> Not the kind of evidence we wanted. Right over there is Fort Macon, which is an old 
Civil War fort that is now, you can just walk through it and check it out. I think it's like a national park. This one by the National Park System. for waterfront right there and this is actually part of the intercoastal waterway all right so there are 33 wild horses on the island uh, we're on horse island which is uh, you can see right there and we were just on the other side actually we're on carrot island sorry and then on the other side, we were on Horse Island uh, just a bit ago. Um, oh, I'm sorry, we're on Bird Shoal. Uh, so, and then there's Town Marsh, which is all this marsh right here. And that's actually the owner of the Paddle. Right there. He told us not to uh, go over the oyster bed when we were around in the corner. And that is it. Large sailboat. There are the ponies. They're kind of far away. Let me see. Yeah. So there's more. <laughs> but I don't know where they are. They keep they move. If you'd like to see more of these videos, please click like and subscribe. And once you do that, hit notifications and you'll know when we post a new one. We just paddled upwind in about 15 mile an hour winds and we're now kind of sheltered from the wind so it was a lot of work. We, yeah, we, so we didn't film it because um, if we stopped paddling the wind would have blown us backwards and so we just kept paddling. So we finally made it. <laughs> the wind picked up after we went and saw the ponies so it was a bit of work, but we got it done, and we're almost to Beaufort Paddle right over there. So uh, we're going to finish this paddle up. All right, Beaufort Paddle. Uh, good times. We met the owner, Rod, super nice guy. Uh, was, gave us some tips where to go, get some wind coming back, and then Danny helped us out paddle a great job totally highly recommended it's not the first time we've been here here's the historical downtown Beaufort area here's a really cool building I think it's like our town courthouse and look at 
there's so many cool um, little areas like the churches, there's a cemetery, there's museums, there's an old church, and all the beautiful homes with porches and rocking chairs. Free 1900s, right around the turn of that century. Oh, here's another old church. This is Beaufort, North Carolina, not to be confused with Beaufort, South Carolina. It's right spelled the same, pronounced totally differently. So Jeff and I, after that long, nice paddle against the wind, <laughs> we're gonna go get some seafood that probably just got caught today. Okay, love this neighborhood. So cute. Oh my goodness, they're so decorated here. Whoops. For Halloween. Cool brewery here. Yeah. This town brew Pronunciation of yeah, say it. Apicary? No, it's apothecary. Yeah, apothecary. Both. Super exciting. The double digger bus for the tour. Yeah. Oh, we are enjoying an IPA over here at the new brewery in Beaufort in North Carolina. And behind us is all these historical buildings. And we're gonna take a walk through the neighborhood after we have some lunch and show you all the beautiful architecture and history in this cute town that you are going to love. Yes, and I apologize today for not bringing the batteries to the GoPro, so I'm using the image stabilization on our Sony camera, we'll see how that works out. We're getting better at this, but, though. We're yeah, starting man, to learn about all the tricks and trades of YouTubing slowly. and uh, <laughs> all the gear we need. You are hey, so buddy. cute! <laughs> in jail, but you know, it looks like a nice jail, so that's cool. Yeah, that's Finn, but that's new, Moon Rangers. And this, oh, and there's the Watercraft Center where they show how they built boats in the old days. And then uh, this is the museum right here. That is pretty cool. Yep. Yeah. We need to go in here. After we eat though, we're gonna get some clam chowder. So we get some clam chowder and on there. Oh they're having a oh, they're having a wedding. North Carolina Maritime Museum. 